Thank you, Tony. You know, it's one thing to look at those temperatures on a map. It's another thing to stand outside when you consider that it's past 11 o'clock and we can still feel that humidity and heat out here. You know, it's still summer, but it's this is excessive. Yep. Now, the kids are already going back to school, and that's really a problem for them, too. Yeah, some school districts are already letting students out early so they don't have to deal with sweltering classrooms. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is in West Warwick with more on this. Caroline. Well, hot and sticky here in West Warwick tonight. This is one of the school districts that will be dismissing students early tomorrow due to the extreme heat. We spoke with State Senator Lou Raptakis tonight, who says he doesn't even believe students should be in school this week. We also spoke with parents tonight who say they're on board with his idea. Headed back in the heat and into the hot classrooms. It's the reality for many Southern New England students this week. Senator Lou Raptakis says he doesn't believe it's necessary. You go in for two days, then you have break of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It makes no sense. So for the third year in a row as he campaigns for re-election, he's also planning to reintroduce a bill that would require all of Rhode Island's public schools to start after the Labor Day holiday. He says it's common sense, especially when you factor in the weather. We don't want them standing outside and waiting for the school bus in extreme cold weather. Why should we have them standing in school buses in hot weather? Mike DeMarzo says he's a fan of the idea. His wife, a teacher in Cranston, went to set up her classroom on Tuesday. His son and daughter head back to school in Coventry in the morning. She said it, the, all the classrooms were awful. They were all hot. Um, the kids go back tomorrow, so she just feels their pain. Senator Raptakis says his bill also focuses on consistency. Establishing the same start date every year, he says, allows people to plan their summers accordingly. Tiffany Duran's kids started after Labor Day last year, but this year they're headed back to school before the holiday. She says she doesn't understand the change. And now, of course, this week we're getting this heat wave, so it's, I'm sure they're not going to be loving that. And speaking of the kids, what would you say if I told you that next year you get to start school a week later? Would you be happy about it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Unanimous. Okay. Yeah. And as you heard, a very easy sell for the kids. But Senator Rob Takis has tried to get this bill passed twice. He says he isn't sure why it hasn't passed in the past, but he's hoping he's reelected so he gets another go at it this upcoming year. Now, in addition to West Warwick, East Greenwich and Attleboro are also dismissing students early tomorrow due to the extreme heat. There are several other school districts in the state that will be canceling their afternoon activities due to the heat. Head to our website, WPRI.com, to figure out which school districts those are. Reporting in West Warwick, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.